Welcome to the fifth annual Blue Innovation. This is now a three-day event. The first day, day one, we're, we're at right now, um, brings together scientists and researchers and companies from all over the world to talk about water conservation, how to deal with sea level rise, um, all those horrible problems that we have with global warming. There's so many different solutions here ranging from underwater sea drones to uh, how to provide safe food from safe uh, fisheries. And uh, there's Joby Aviation. We have cruise foam as well, alternative to styrofoam. We also got food trucks here and a live band playing as well. The live band is incredible. It's great. <laughs> so we really hope you enjoy this event. Uh, to view it, you're probably viewing it right now if you're watching this video, but we'll have stories, videos, and summaries about the entire event on santacruzworks.org. Thank you so much for watching and attending. I'm Olivier Autain, I'm the Commercial and Marketing Director of Pragma Industry. And Pragma Industry is a Biarritz-based company in France, southwest, not far from the Spanish border. And we are the only company in the world today producing an hydrogen bike. Not only hydrogen bike, also hydrogen three-wheelers, four-wheelers. And we are, uh, we are developing a small car for 25. Yeah, first of all, the uh, cities of uh, Santa Cruz and Biarritz are now twin cities. And uh, so we consider that uh, California is the, maybe the right place in the US to launch this hydrogen bike. And uh, because we are thinking about uh, installing some infrastructure to refill the vehicles, so basically we will soon have the infrastructure and the vehicles. So we think that's the right time for us to be here in California. The hydrogen is one of the uh, energy of the future, all simply because when you work on renewable energy, uh, either you consume them or you lose them. And hydrogen is the right way to store this energy. We think that tomorrow you can have an ecosystem a closed ecosystem where you produce your own green hydrogen, you distribute it locally and you use it in your vehicles within a city. So we think it's a, it's a very virtuous, economically speaking, very interesting because it makes you totally independent from any other type of energy. Yeah, Cruise Foam is a company that was founded on the basis that we need packaging for products that is biocompostable. This material can go back into the ocean, it can go back into the earth. All our raw materials that we use are biocompostable so that your end product is completely biocompostable. Right now we have uh, replacements for EPE, for EPS, for other types of packaging materials that currently can't biocompose into the uh, ocean or into the soil. So. What we have over here is different formulations that we can make a foam that is very soft. We can also make a foam that is a lot more rigid. Uh, depending on the customer's applications, we can introduce that either into a box or into a, a thin film or sheet that we can then uh, have the customers adapt to whatever they're packaging. So we've gotten to the point now where we can make the foam in a lot of different configurations or shapes. Um, here you have something analogous to a sheet. Here we can cut it out to a different shape. For example, this could be protective uh, packaging for a footing of a uh, appliance. This is a much softer form. You can see this uh, can be squeezed down. But our profiles can now be basically extruded into this shape, different shape. Um, and you can see this is completely resilient. You can push on it and then it bounces back. With that now, we can produce much larger blocks or profiles depending on the need of the customer. Uh, and the great thing here is that these can be adhered together using our own formulation. So basically the own material with a little bit of water and a little bit of shrimp shells is the adhesive that holds this together. We could also color it 
we can make it different colors. Uh, this is like a denim type color, but very natural. This is more like a marble. And then over here, we have this nice fish that was made by our prototyping team. Uh, you can see the blues in here. So it's very natural looking. Uh, this would be like a cooler that this fish could go in and be shipped out. And these are representing ice cubes. This product here is not soft. In fact, this is very rigid. I can't squeeze this at all. This is very rigid. So we can go from this to this. Hello, I'm uh, Major Rostegui, Mayor of the city of Biarritz in the south of France. And I'm here together with my team um, to introduce uh, the partnership of sister city between Santa Cruz and Biarritz. Uh, our two cities uh, look alike and we would like to develop economic, environmental relationship between those two cities. For our first hours in, uh, in Santa Cruz, we were uh, surprised uh, by uh, all the measures that you have taken to protect the environment, especially the Bay of Santa Cruz, where nature is so um, developed with all these animals. Uh, this is striking for us French people. And also the way you protect the use of the uh, beach in Santa Cruz. And now we're going to discover the uh, blue tech companies uh, and looking forward to meet all the uh, products and services developed by those companies. I'm Hillary Bryant. I am a board member at the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary Foundation and I'm here with my friends from the Sanctuary Exploration Center at Blue Innovation. It's a great, great day out here. Lots of activity, lots of people engaging in all things ocean and Santa Cruz. We have been working to protect our bays for 30 years. There's been a sanctuary in Monterey Bay and it is critical to keep working on that effort and to protect our oceans for the future of Santa Cruz County and the world. People can find, well, the Monterey Bay Sanctuary is right in our backyard. It is not just the surface, it's everything below. It is, like I said, celebrating its 30th anniversary. And if you want to learn more about the sanctuary, you can also visit the Sanctuary Exploration Center, which is right across from the wharf and open to the public and free. Yeah, so I'm Chris Malzone with Advanced Navigation. We're a Sydney-based company that uh, makes navigation solutions as well as robotic solutions. Uh, we're here with Hydrus, which is a completely integrated navigation and uh, autonomous underwater vehicle. Uh, it has a 4K camera on there, six degrees of freedom, so you can orient it in whatever direction you want. And you can use it anything from coral reef mapping to dam inspections. Hey, I'm Tyler Fox and I'm with Capture Packs, a local company here made in Santa Cruz, California. Capture Packs are made um, with upcycled materials, old vinyl banners and old windsurfing sails. And we've created some 
unique functionality where they actually have a built-in changing mat, folds down, you don't need to change in the sand or dirt. Everything gets stuffed inside, completely uh, waterproof so you could pour water into it and it's not gonna leak all over your car or, or over your back when you're, when you're hiking somewhere. And uh, each one is unique. This uh, actually folds up here. Um, so when you're changing out of your wetsuit, you know, you change out of your wetsuit, you're keeping everything dry. Take the suit, put it back inside, take all your gear, your booties, another booty, right? Towel. Then it folds up, boom, 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 and then it folds over top like that. Clip it then it turns into a backpack, right? So then you're off and you've got your surfboard and you're ready to go. Education coordinator with Save Our Shores. Um, Save Our Shores is a nonprofit grassroots organization that was started in 1978 um, and we helped establish the Monterey Bay Sanctuary as well as we um, do other marine policy. Um, we were involved in the plastic bag ban that is all across California now. Um, so yes, we are a big marine conservation organization and we also do a lot of educational programs and volunteer involvement through cleanups of the beaches and the rivers. 